I got pi over 3. Okay. All right. Well, again, I, I tried to give you some explanation for why this formula makes sense, because the TA might expect you to draw a picture and give some justification. But we should also just have a, a formula that you can put in your cheat sheet. So um, here's, well, here's the formula for uh, the cylindrical shell. So let me write it here. It's a to b 2 pi x y of x dx. Now when would you use this? This is for a volume. This is when you're using a cylindrical shell method and you're rotating around the y-axis. Yeah, it's certainly possible. That would be a little bit higher difficulty, but I think I saw a question like that in one of the other sample exams. So we should be able to figure out what that would be kind of by logic. So let's say that we were going to use a cylindrical shell method. rotating around the x-axis. Uh, well, how would we change this then? Oh, so, so before I say anything, remember here that um, this, so the formula is 2 pi, so um, 2 pi times x times y of x dx, and then you have to plug in an expression for y so that everything ends up in terms of x, just like we saw previously. Um, you plug in whatever the formula is for y, so everything will be in terms of x. All right, so now let's get a similar formula for rotating around the x-axis. What should this be? We just shift x as a function of y. And the variable of integration is dy. So this is a little bit harder, because usually when you're given equations, they're usually solved for y, not x. right? So here, you would need to plug in something in terms of y. So you might have to solve the equation that you were given originally in terms of y. In fact, we could do that here. What would you get if you solve this for uh, x? x is equal to um, y to the one more. So this is the kind of operation you might have to do in order to plug in x as a function of y over here. You'd have to solve the equation for x if they haven't done that already. So then you can plug in uh, an expression of y in the place of x. All right, and otherwise the formula is the same as before. And so for the formula for the um, this. The washer method right. is also would be the same thing, just like replacing x and y. That's right. That's a good point. So when we wrote down the washer method, we only uh, wrote it down for rotating around the x-axis. But you can also make some flips to show that for around the y-axis. So I think this is the formula we had for the disk washer method when you're rotating around the x-axis. Uh, so this would be the formula for the disk washer method when you're rotating around the y-axis. So here you need to solve the equation for y in terms of x and then plug in an expression in terms of x. And here you'd have to solve the equation for x in terms of y and then plug in that expression for y because everything has to end up in the same variable that you're using for your variable of integration. So if your variable of integration is dx, eventually you have to have only x's inside of the integral, or if your variable of integration is y, eventually you have to have only y's inside. Okay. Thank you so much. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. 
you can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.